In this video, we will perform an online replacement of a Delta V MD controller to a Delta V MQ controller. The same procedure can also be performed to replace your MD Plus controller. This online replacement can be performed without affecting your process when you have redundant controllers. Replacing your MD controller and MD Plus controller will extend the life cycle of your Delta V system. The MD controller is supported through version 13.3.1 and the MD Plus controller is supported through version 14.3.1. You have two M-series options, which are drop-in replacements using the same backplane, power supplies, and self-addressing plug-and-play capabilities. The MQ controller is as quick as the MD Plus controller with the same configurable memory. Consider using the MX controller if you need additional capacity, with two times the amount of the MD Plus controller. You don't have to wait for a full Delta V upgrade because both the MQ and MX controllers are supported back to Delta V version 10.3.1. What's more, beginning with version 14.3, you can even use charms and wireless I.O. with these M-series controllers. This makes it easier than ever to add I.O. to an existing controller by simply adding a CIOC and or WIOC to the Delta V area control network. If you have any questions during this process, please contact technical support. To begin, let's identify the MD controllers we will be replacing. In Delta V Explorer, use the identify command to find the correct hardware in the field the controllers will begin to flash in a pattern to identify themselves. You can identify the standby controller within this pair by referring to the standby LED. Verify that the MD controller redundancy is healthy. In Delta V Explorer, use Delta V Diagnostics to verify that partner available, or P avail, is equal to yes. Now we're ready to remove the standby MD controller from the rail bus. Be sure to label the Ethernet cables before you begin. Unscrew the standby controller from the rail bus, remove the Ethernet cables, and gently pull out the controller. Insert your new MQ controller in the same, now empty slot of the rail bus. Press gently to seat the MQ into the back plane of the rail bus, then screw in the new controller to secure it in place. Reconnect the primary and secondary Ethernet cables in their correct ports. Watch the LED sequence as the MQ becomes identified as the standby. Next, check the standby controller in Delta V Diagnostics. Watch the properties of the node's redundancy to verify that the partner exists when P exists equals yes. Looking at the properties of the standby, you can verify that this controller is now an MQ. Check the firmware of the standby controller to see if it needs to be flashed. The standby controller's firmware is at Delta V version 12.3.1, but the active controller is version 13.3. Flash it to the current revision using the controller upgrade utility. Wait for P avail to become yes after flashing. This may take a few minutes. If the LED pattern is not stable after 5 minutes, please contact technical support. Now we're ready to force a switch over to the new MQ controller. Using Delta V Diagnostics, right-click on the node's redundancy and select Redundancy Switchover. Please note that the user must have the proper security privilege to perform a switchover. Refer to Delta V User Manager to check your user privilege keys. 
The new MQ controller is now running the process as the active controller. Now, let's replace the other MD controller in this pair, which is currently running a standby. Remove the current standby controller by following the same procedure as before. Insert the new MQ controller in the same, now empty slot. After you finish, the LEDs will go through cycles of reset before becoming identified as the standby. Finally, we will return to Delta V to verify the health of this new MQ redundant pair. Check the properties of the standby to verify it is now an MQ controller. Check the firmware of the new standby controller to see if it needs to be flashed. Again, this standby controller's firmware is at Delta V version 12.3.1 and we need it to match version 13.3 of the active controller. Flash the standby to the current revision using the controller upgrade utility. This may take a few minutes. Wait for P avail to become yes after flashing. This indicates that the new MQ controller pair is redundant and healthy. The final step is to update the download status in Delta V Explorer.